Are you ready to now create your online course videos, but you haven't created a video before, you don't know where to start, you maybe don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, don't really have money to be able to invest into a video editor? Any of those, wave.video will help you to be able to automatically create videos for your online course or YouTube or any social media just by using your text. So let's take a look at how you can get started today. Before we jump in, my name is Kat Sabello. I'm an instructional designer here at The Stella Way, and we are all about helping you to design, create, and launch your online course using innovative techniques. So we would love for you to subscribe to our channel so you are notified of future videos on how to get your online course out to the world and start selling it. Let's get started with today's video, which is a short wave.video tutorial. Today, what I want to show you is how you can turn some of that text that you've created as scripts and turn them into videos. Now, this might involve a video that doesn't have your face in it. OK, so it might be a video that's just showing different things on the screen, different types of images. So let's have a look at wave.video. You can try out wave.video for free. You can use all of their tools in the free version. And so you can start to play around with it. And then if you like it and you want to continue, then you can go into the paid version, which would allow you to export without any of the watermarks. So let's have a look at the free version today and what you can do. What we're going to do is take some text and then we are going to use AI to create a entire video for us. And it's going to happen within a matter of seconds. And then I want to show you some editing things that I do and some tips and tricks on how you can better edit your videos as well. Let's start with a tip. Maybe you're not into writing out a script. Maybe you just want to speak it. And that's absolutely fine. Consider recording yourself with the audio that you would like to share. Maybe you want to do this in Loom or maybe you want to do this in other platforms. Once you have that audio, you can automatically transcribe it using other AI tools. And then you have your written script. OK, so if you don't have your text and you don't want to write a script out, you'd rather speak it. That's absolutely fine as well. If you do use Loom, they automatically transcribe it for you. So that's even quicker and easier. I'm also going to have a bonus tip at the end of the video that shows you how you can edit the text in this kind of storyboard format rather than having to go through each slide. So stay tuned for that one. Let's take a look at how we take that script now and put it into wave.video. So here we are with wave.video. I am just going to go in and hover over create. You can see when I hover over create, there's all of these different types of options. We want to select from text. So now we just simply paste our text in. On the top here, we can keep our text as is, or we can ask to reduce the text with AI. Now, this completely depends on what your goal is and what text you are using as well. In this example, this is an audio file that we have converted and transcribed. So we don't want to make any changes and we're going to use text as is. Now, I'm just going to put a heading in here, such as text to video with AI, just so that you can see where that would then go. Down the bottom here, we can decide if we want to use stock assets or preferably free ones. We're going to use all of them for now. And then we can choose the mood that we would like to have our video in, whether we want confident, inspiring, whether we want confused, curious, whatever it may be. You can see there's different examples here. For this one, this is an educational video, so I would like to make it inspiring. And then we simply go next. So now we choose the format and we choose the style. The format is where your video will be viewed. So if it's viewed in an online course, then we would like horizontal. If you're considering putting this into Instagram, on LinkedIn, then consider square. And then you also have vertical and stories as well. So first select your format. Now this is for an online course that we're doing. It might also be for a YouTube channel. So these would all be horizontal. And then you can choose which style you would like. Now you can hover over these to be able to see what they look like and the transitions that they have. So you can play around with them and you can see, scroll down to see any further. We're going to use this example and then create video. And let's see how quick this happens. So I want to keep this 
filming now so you can see how quickly it happens. Okay, this is happening in real time. We can see that it's taking the text and it is populating that text field. It is also adding in images, stock images that it's finding. And now we have our entire video done. That was insanely fast and I've never created a video that fast in my entire career of learning and development. So you can see what the power in artificial intelligence has and how it can support you to be able to get your knowledge out there faster. Now, I wouldn't just leave it as this, right? This might not have your voice. It won't have your branding. It doesn't have the impact that you would have for your students. So now I recommend you go through and you edit this. So all I do is I go through and I listen to it again and I maybe change some text. I extend some of the sections out, change some images. So let's take a look at some tips and hints on how you can do this. First thing I'm going to do is with this heading. Now I'm going to go in, if I just select on this heading here and we click on text, then we can see that we can make changes to the font type. We can make changes to the size. We can make changes to the text style, the color, everything. Now, the most important thing here is that once you've made your changes, let me just go in and make a couple of changes so you can see. And I'm going to change the size, let's say 130, for example, just to make that smaller. I'm just playing around here. I like this type of text style, but I don't like the color. So let me put my branding in, for example. And so you can change that text color. Now, the most important is to come down here and click apply to all texts. And that is then going to take all of that into every single one of these sections. You can now see that that's updated all of this text and that's what we want to happen. Another thing that we can do is have a look at these transitions. Now here you can see with these two arrows that this is the transition. So if we select on this, we can see that we have uh, very quickly 17 different types of transitions. Now currently what's happening is that it is using this scale one where it kind of goes half swipe, stops and then swipes again. I don't like that. I'm going to change it to just a swipe. I do like, however, that it does go up and I do like my transitions to be quick. So I always choose the 0.5 seconds. And then again, you can apply this to the whole video, which applies that to every single transition. Okay, so some other things that I change now is I change this border color in the background. Unfortunately, we cannot do this one for every single slide or every single section like we have done before but i do go through the video and listen to each section and i edit each section so it's not that hard to quickly make a change i also change images when they don't seem appropriate with these images here we can just click on replace and we can do two things here we can do multiple things like you can see on this list we can choose one that we have in other projects we can choose one that we've uploaded uh, but we're going to look at stock library. Now, the two things that I mentioned is that we can either go straight into the stock library and research one, or we can go into the stock library and research one that's similar. And what it's doing here, when you click search similar, it's using this stock video text here. And so when we go replace and search similar, it's going to copy that text into here for us. And then it's going to populate and show us all different ones that match that text. Or what you can do if you don't like this one at all is you can just go into the stock library and search for something else. AI video, AI text to video. And then you'll be able to see all of the different ones that come up and we just select one at random. I'm going to select this one. Now you can go straight into replace or you can click on it to view it and then replace. There are some videos that also have search similar down the bottom. For example, we can search similar ones to this one here and it does exactly the same thing where it just takes that text and then populates this so you can search for similar and then just change the image as easy as that. So I'm just going to select this one randomly, replace it, and then it's updated there. 
Now this video has automatically been updated with audio, but we can just delete all of that audio and we can add in any other audio. So you can use text to speech, you can upload audio, you can look at the stock library or record your voice. Now, if you already have your voice recorded, like what we discussed at the beginning, you can go in and upload that audio. Or you can also look for any type of music or audio from the stock library to insert. Okay, so we were looking at inspiring before, so we can have this that we add at the beginning and that we add at the end. I'm just going to choose anything here and we add this. I want this to start pretty much immediately, so I'm just going to cut it here and delete that and drag this to the beginning. And then what I would like to do is cut it off around, let's say here. So I select the image here or the audio and I cut that off. I don't want any more because my audio is going to come in. So now that my audio is in there, I want it to fade out and fade in. And that can automatically happen or easily happen just by selecting the audio here. And then on the right hand side, we can fade in and fade out for a couple of seconds. Again, we can apply this to all tracks as well. But be careful if you have your audio in there. Let's take a look at how to extend these sections out without being frustrated. So here we can see that my introduction doesn't match up with my audio. So right now I have selected this section here. I want to make sure that I select this whole section, which chooses the entire slide. And that's when I have this blue section here. And then I want to drag that out. Now what we're going to find if I click at about four seconds that I have no text on the page. And that's because this text and all of these images don't extend as well. So I also want to extend these out. If I drag them to the maximum, they can't go past this. So I just keep dragging. So I always got them to the very end because this used to frustrate me that my text would leave. So then I just go through and I listen to each one of these sections and I make any adjustments to any of the text. Let's have a look at the final tip on how you can change your text very easily in a storyboard format rather than change them on each slide. Let's take a look. So with all of these options on the left hand side, you have one called storyboard. And with the storyboard where you can see the seconds and all of the different text that's here. So you could go through this and you can change the text here rather than having to go through each of these slides. So you can make those changes and you can also remove anything as well that doesn't seem relevant. This is really useful so that you're not overwhelming your students with so much text on the page. And also remember at the very beginning, we said keep the text as is. And because this is audio, we don't want the students to be reading and hearing exactly the same thing. It's just too much. We want to be having the key elements for them to see and read as well as listening to the more thorough details. I hope this video has been useful on a quick tutorial on how you can use wave.video. If you are looking at anything specific in wave.video, I'm happy to be able to provide a further demonstration. And if you're stuck in how to create your online course and not sure about what videos to include or what other lessons you can include, check out my videos on course curriculum design, which I'll populate here for you. Until next time, happy course creating.